Brett Porcio, topvelocity.net. Going to do a pitch analysis here. Evan, going to pair him up with Keegan. Let's take them both at a leg lift. Okay. You could see slightly similar. Keegan leading a little bit more with his hips here. So he's going to start moving forward and down at the same rate. We'll take Evan. You can see leading more with the front leg, you see opens pretty early. So right here before leg drive, we see uh, a, a more extended front leg. We see a, a more open trunk position as well. Keegan is very counter rotated, uh, even though actually simmer on the legs. And they both could do a better job of keeping their momentum going. Um, but Keegan is uh, more loaded up in the trunk, which potentially is going to help him uh, stay closed longer, and that's that's a key point here. Getting into front foot strike as close as possible uh, really allows you to optimize the kinetic chain. That allows you to really power the hips longer before the upper body transfers. So let's see how they both go into front foot strike. You see Keegan starts to then initiate drive off the rubber. You see full triple extension into front foot strike. You know specifically right here. We saw a good drive of ankle, knee, and beginning hip flexor into rotation. We also see that the trunk is staying closed, the arms cocking, and uh, you know late into the movement, not early into the movement. If we watch Evan going forward. We can see at front foot strike, the foot back foot little push, but a lot of just rotation and transferring momentum early. So at front foot, we see the chin. Uh, pushing over the front leg, as opposed with Keegan, the chin is still sitting stacked over the hips. Not only that, as front leg stabilizes, we see early trunk rotation. As Keegan stabilizes, we can still see that glove or that elbow is just going down, shoulders staying closed. Okay, We already see trunk rotation here. So kind of reversing back to before the leg drive and... Evan being more open, Keegan being more closed, what it allowed was the weight to stay back more, the shoulders to stay closed more, and the lower half to build more power going forward. And then you can see from here, you're going to see a later now transfer of Keegan in that more closed orientation. You're going to see an early transfer with um, Evan here. And, and then we see because of that early transfer and early even early trunk rotation, we see the elbow pulling behind the back. That's where the arm is out of timing because the upper body went early, and that's hard on the arm. It's called hyperangulation, where the elbow is dragging behind the back. So that's just because of that early trunk, more open trunk going into front foot. Um, and you can see it finish. Evan does a good job extending front leg. But notice just the differences of the forward trunk movements. Look how much more forward trunk here from Keegan. Sorry. Having a hard time getting this to move. Oop. Just clear that off. Try that again. Okay. It looks like somewhere around 30, 40 degrees. If we look here at the Ford trunk tilt, you know, somewhere around 65 degrees. Okay, so big difference in trunk moving forward. A lot more Ford trunk tilt. So think about that. If front foot strike we take them back to front foot strike, uh, more closed trunk, more back trunk, uh, loaded back trunk than Evan, as you can see here, more open, more, uh, more forward. So all the way as we ride it to pitch release, you see a lot more trunk range of motion. I mean, here for, for Evan, if this is the trunk position and at front foot, and this is the trunk position at release, not a lot of distance between the two. If we look at Keegan, this is the trunk at front foot. This is the trunk at release. You know, look how much more distance between the two. That's a lot more time to accelerate a lot more energy. This pitch here is 94. I don't know what Evan's pitch is, but we can definitely see the difference. So back to the drawing board, and big difference being that closed shoulder orientation, also keeping more weight on the drive leg. So when he opens and drives, 
It's got that good closed shoulder as those hips start to come around in rotation. Okay. So you can just see the difference here, both at front foot strike, optimal trunk rotation, closed orientation, uh, early trunk rotating. Um, it's really not only going to put your arm in a compromised position out of timing, it's also going to uh, make it harder for you to throw and optimize your, your power to the ball, and that it's going to hurt your velocity. So we've got to really work on slow, staying loaded longer on the backside, getting more power through triple extension without the trunk going early so we can optimize hip to shoulder separation. These are really, really important components that will not only you know, help you throw harder, but it's going to keep your arm healthy.